I left Afghanistan a few days before uh, Kabul collapse, just a few days to attend the film festival in Europe. And then it's happened. And until now, I couldn't go back to my home and to my country. So at that time, I didn't know it's the last time I closed the door. So yeah, it's um, the tragedy happened to so many people in my country. The one who left and the one that is staying inside the country, they are all still suffering. It's about the life of uh, Afghan women under um, Taliban uh, uh, dictatorship uh, uh, situation. So I portray three women. They are modern and education women that we accept them to give them, to give something to the society. It's uh, mostly I focus on their daily life and also their battle for uh, make a change for better for them. I'm proud of them. When I was talking to them and seeing them, I'm really proud that how much they can be resilient and they, can, they, they could be hope, hopeful for change and for, uh, for better uh, future, at least for their, their girls and the, other gen the next generation. So they were really inspiring me. So, and I never feel this, uh, the spread, but I feel got uh, much energy from them. So they were really encouraging me to do something and uh, at least um, document their, their battle, their battle against the uh, Taliban uh, dictatorship. Well, we got involved when I was watching the, the fall of Kabul on the news um, in 2021. And I told Justine, you know, we need to find somebody on the ground that can get a camera in there. And she had already seen um, Zara's previous documentary, A Thousand Girls Like Me. So she told me about Zara's work and she was the perfect person to do it. Not only is she from Afghanistan, but her documentary was just so incredible mm -hmm. and moving. And um, I think her point of view, um, not to mention her camera <laughs> abilities, um, were remarkable. And so she was clearly the person that we wanted. And then we, uh, Justine, found her. Well, just to echo what Jen said, I think we had such an immediate reaction to the fall of Kabul in 2021, especially because the consequences for women were so dire. Um, to see their circumstances collapse into a sort of pre-2002 scenario was unfathomable. So, um, when we found A Thousand Girls Like Me, which by the way is probably one of the most stunning docs we have ever seen, I, we, we tracked her down actually through your French producers on that film. I don't know if you know that, but that's how we got her contact. It was tough, it took us a couple weeks, but we did. And Sara was already um, in contact with women and had been shooting women a little bit. I know you had already reached out to, I wanna say what, like 40 or 50. Um, so the ball was rolling. And then we said, listen, if, if, if we can get you some resources and give you a platform, we'd love to, to do that. And the rest is history. When I received the email from Justin, um, at that time I was uh, trying to do something for Afghanistan. I was, with the help of a filmmaker from Germany, Ladok, we were doing some food distribution and helping women with the, because they were breadwinner of their family and they lose their job, try to help them. So, and that's why I met a dozen of women. So when I received this mail, I, I read it and I told this is spam. So, <laughs> and, and then thanks to Justine. So she sent me another email and then I did a Google and find out, no, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, and I respond quickly and then we met and we talk and that's, uh, that's how it's happened, but thanks to them because they leave me for some times to do what I want. You know, like we didn't, I didn't feel like a lot of control of what I want. So they leave me for one year, and uh, I didn't know what's going to happen. It's going to be a film or not, but I did my best. So I thought even if wouldn't happen, I make a film, but at least I will document. And I will tell them, sorry, it couldn't happen. <laughs> so, but, um, but it's happened. So the film is a film because of Sara. You know, we, 
we supplied her with funds and camera. But the well, entire, we easiest jobs. The easiest job in the world. All we wanted was for her to have support while she made the movie what it is.